What's good, YouTube? It's about back on the YouTube video for you guys. Today, we are here with another YouTube video for you guys. But we're here with a dribble tutorial. Not, it's not really advanced because this is a lot of moves that already been on the channel. So, we are going to just start this one up. And hopefully, you guys will learn some of these moves. I'm going to start off with the snatchback. That one is already on the channel with 22k. If you don't want to watch that one, because I am talking too much in it, you can watch this one. I'm going to start this one up right away. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button. Turn the bell notifications on. You'll never miss a video when I drop it. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do the snatch back, and then I'm going to explain. So, you see? You could speed boost out of it. I really love that move. Um, control the cam on the screen. You guys could follow along with that. Now I'm going to explain to you how to do it. You hold on your R2. Flick your right stick up. Flick your left stick down. R st right stick up. Left stick down. Sorry. Oh, Let me do it like that. Mm, kind of messing up because a lot of people are there. But it's fine. Right stick up. Left stick down. And that's a pretty simple snatch back move right there. You guys can use, you can speed boost out of it, as you guys can see. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. So, um, next move we're going to teach you, curry slide. Pretty easy. So let's start this one up, curry slide, show you how to do it, and then I'm going to explain. So the curvy slide pretty easy, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that advanced part as well, so you guys can speed boost out of it. What I usually do when I do the curvy slide, I usually do a behind the back. So you see how he does the behind the back, or he does a half kind of hezzy, and then speed boost. I usually do that with the curvy slide. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean, and then I'm gonna explain. See, so that right there, if you guys want to know how to do that, it's going to be pretty advanced. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. I'm going to show you guys how to do it again and then I'm going to explain. Let me get a ball. So that right there, the behind the back, you don't know how to do that one, I'm going to teach you guys right now. So the curvy slide is pretty simple, hold on R2, flick the right stick diagonally down to the left or right, depending on the ball hand, it's in your right hand, so you're going to flick it diagonally down to the left, and he's going to do it like that. So when you flick it diagonally down to the left, you flick your right stick diagonally down to the right. I'm hopefully I'm explaining this right because it's always like right, left, right, left. So it's in my left hand, right? I flick it diagonally down to the right and then immediately flick it diagonally down to the left. So he does the behind the back and then you speed boost out of it. So it looks like this. So it looks like that. So he does the behind the back with it and immediately just speed boost out of it. So that, that move is pretty effective because the def defender don't know what's going on. You you flick it diagonally down to the left, and then you, you know you do a little move, and then you, you could do you could do the curry slide you know two times. You could do this boom, and then he don't know where you going boom. See that little behind the back is always effective because you know it helps you win a little bit of like getting open, getting to your spot. So. Yeah, all these moves, could you could do speed boost out of them, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. So the next move I'm going to show you guys how to do is the behind the back. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it, then I'm going to explain.
Now, as you guys can see, this is simple behind the back. Nothing really crazy. If you want to know how to do that simple behind the back, it could be effective. Simple behind the back like this. Nothing crazy. You could really catch a lot of people with these moves. So that's why some of these moves, you could really be effective. You just got to know when to use them. So it's pretty easy. This is nothing hard to do. You, you don't have to hold on R2 for this one. You just dribble up the court and you flick your right stick diagonally down to the left or right. And he's going to do a behind the back. So he's going to do like boom. You know, you go the other way, you know, like that. Boom. You know, something simple. Um, Yeah, this one is easy to do. You catch a lot of defenders if you want. You don't have to hold on R2 for this one. So, so boom. You go the other way. See, simple behind the back. Nothing crazy. Now, we get to the hard part. We are going to learn how to do the tween spam. The tween spam is a hard move to do. Trust me on when I say this. All right? It's a tough move. Pretty demanding. You're going to have to really listen along with this one. And I'm going to just teach you guys how to do it after. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then hopefully you guys get it down pat. Alright, so you've seen a little piece of the tween spam right there. How to do this move now? You are gonna need to really be on top of this move. So you're gonna hold down your R2. You're gonna flick your right stick up. And then you're gonna flick your left stick right and left. Depending on your ball hand. So you're gonna flick it right and left. Like, watch my controller cam. Like that. Not diagonally. You don't have to do it diagonally. You could do it left to right. But you're going to have to watch your ball hand and do it from that. Because, yeah, it's pretty demanding. And the move is pretty good, too. You know, some people like, ah, it's, it's not that effective. But if, you, like, if you're a good dribbler, you really could do a lot of stuff with this move. So, I'll show you guys again. And you can follow along with the controller cam. Alright, as you guys can see, that's the tween spam. And if you want to do it, that's how you do it. You follow the controller cam on the screen. And you could do it. Next move I'm going to teach you is the misdirection behind the back. And that one... You can spam it behind the back, and it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. So we're gonna show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna explain. All right, so that's a little piece of the misdirection behind the back. So how you do this move now, hold on R2, and you flick the right stick and the left stick the same way. Diagonally down to the left or right. And you're going to keep spamming it. You're going to keep spamming it. And he could do, you know, the half misdirection behind the back. Or you could spam it, you know. You could just do stuff like that. Um... Yeah, that's how you do the misdirection behind the back. Something simple. Nothing really hard. You don't have to keep spamming it crazy, crazy, crazy. You could do a couple behind the back and just like speed boost out of it. You could do the curry slide and the misdirection. So you gotta keep you gotta flick it diagonally down to the left or right. Can't flick it up. Or else he's gonna do he's gonna do it in front of him. So you got to do it behind them and spam it. You could do it with the curry slide and speed boost out of it. That's why you see a lot of these dribblers are doing the misdirection and then they just speed boost the other way. So that's what they're doing. Um, What else should I teach you? Uh, the one-legged 
This is the one-legged tween spam. I, I came up with this one. So, I don't know if anybody was doing it before. Maybe they were, but I came up with this one. I'm going to show you guys how to, how to do this one. All right, so that's a little piece of it right there. It's just simple, different from the tween spam. What you wanna do, hold down R2, flick the right stick up, and then you just flick the left stick to one side only. One side only, left or right, doesn't really matter. Flick it to one side, and he's gonna do the one-legged tween spam, if you wanna call it that. But that's on my channel as well, if you wanna look at that one. Um. I want to learn how to do the momentum dribble. That's going to be a good one. So I'm going to learn how to do that one. And then I'm going to come back to you guys on that one. So if you guys enjoy this one, make sure to smash up the like button. And we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.